Live from the New York Stock Exchange, this is the final and most important hour of the trading day. We'll take a look at jewelers who are striking gold because of the precious metals record run. You're watching CNBC, first in business worldwide. Gold price is lowered today, but the precious metal is still near a record high. Perhaps nobody is profiting more from the gold boom than the high-end jewelry industry as we head toward the holiday shopping season. Seems she's Sharon Epperson now with a closer look there. Investors have helped propel the 20% rise in gold prices this year. Now jewelry retailers are playing catch-up. At Dabool, a high-end jewelry store in Dallas, the average sales price is $8,000, though the bulk of sales are in the three to $5,000 range. But those prices are climbing, and on some items, the spike has been stunning. And we increased all our prices on our gold about two weeks ago, and it's taken us this long to get to it. And one gold necklace, as you said, went from 5500 to 8900 so there's a, being a very big increase in gold prices. That's a 62% jump in the price of this one piece. Brand, craftsmanship, and gemstones also have a lot to do with the price tag. But as long as manufacturers' costs for buying gold keep going up, retailers will have to raise their bills. Yet consumers may not see prices that reflect $1,300 gold for a few more months. Retailers purchase their product four to six months in advance. So it's going to be affected by um, the, the market of course, eventually, but it won't be like uh, they don't change their signs the next day when uh, the price of gold hits a certain amount. Competition may cause jewelry retailers to absorb some of the rising costs, but don't bet on big sales around the holidays. Dennis Bull says his customers can expect the big boost in bullion prices will have a big impact. Sharon Epperson, CNBC Business News.